Welcome back to another Pod Ones Reacts. I'm your host, Luke, uh, a.k.a. Jedi Master Eggs, with my co-host, Harris Productions, and Andy Wise Guy. How's it going, everybody? Doing well. Doing really well. Today, we are going to be reacting to Episode 6, Teach Slash Corrupt. Uh, but out without further ado, let's get into it. All right, gentlemen. Ready? Yep. Ready. May I just say that the music before every single episode has been hitting. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's the mirror to the first them. episode. Yep. I want to know where this, where this is. It would be cool because it's not Octo, right? I think it's been confirmed that it's no. not. No, no, it's not Octo. As I said, it's confirmed that it's not. I mean, are we sure? Because <laughs> that looked very similar. It did look like Mount Skilly had, like the the loca it, filming locations. Definitely, for it definitely did. That's a little strange. Unknown planet. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there we go. That settles that. Oh, I guess we'll put a pin in that argument. And this kind of mirrors Ray's look in uh, Last Jedi. Oh yeah, with the yeah, gray robes. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the obvious question: Jip is parked out in the middle of nowhere. How did they get on the shore? I don't know, he probably swam across by just force holding her. I told you they hadn't left. Yeah. And of course, now they're leaving. <laughs> well, well, there goes that theory. That theory we can throw in the dumpster. Oh, oh man. Basil, my king. <laughs> He's gonna fix Pip. Charger? <laughs> <laughs> just, he just put in rice. It's fine. Okay, I love the kind of mirroring the last shit I have, like, of like Osha watching oh. Mere Hunt. Oh. 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 oh it's it's spicy. Right. Wow. It's spicy. All right. A thousand screams were heard. First, first we get Aemon hanging now we dong, get and then Kymir's being foot. <laughs> he knows she's there. I was gonna say he's got to know she's there. Yeah, he's he's. This is an intentional thing. Uh, uh, and this is the other thing, guys. If he's a Sith, he's a pretty shitty How Sith. I wouldn't call that shitty. He knows. Don't worry. It's a test. It was good. Mm. And he doesn't take the saber again. from her. Yeah, this is a this is a test for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm assuming like Osha and Souls like what Anakin Qui Gon would have been like. It's like that father type relationship that she never had. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you're not gonna get the Ooh. chance, bro. What? Prepare a rescue team to depart for the planet Kofar immediately. Uh, how do you know where he? Yep. Mm -hmm. Major Clone Wars vibes there. You speak as if you were a Jedi. Oh, 100%. Ooh, hold on. <gasps> oh. Ooh. My theory was right. It was a really long time ago. He's. Soul's Padawan, his, or his former Padawan. No. Maybe Vernestra's Padawan? After Emery? After Emery? Mm, I don't know. There's such shades of Palpatine and Anakin here, like he's just treating her so nicely and kind of baiting the trap. It's the it's the dual m mechanic of like, oh, I'm going to treat you very nice and then fucking flip that switch. But there is another mm. way. See? Below the surface this of is why I don't think he's a sit. Anger. Uh, that Luke, you want to retract your statement? But he doesn't have the vibe of a of a Sith. The dude literally snapped the neck of a Jedi. What more of a like, vibe do you need? Also, the way that he was like, like the way he wears his robe, like like not. Nah, nah, I'm still not Simon. For a crime you didn't commit. You killed Jackie. And where did you think that was going to go? You would have had the same relationship with her. Oh, one -sided. damn. <laughs> okay. She's got some background. Do it. Ooh. Come on, Luke. That's very stiff. <laughs> wow. This is who you are. The Jedi saw it. Okay. And that's why they threw you away. Ooh. They didn't throw me away. Mm -hmm. Then why aren't you a Jedi? Because I failed! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, she's taking the bait. Mm hmm You can see it. I wish we would have hung on that a little longer. Off she goes, mission rose. So. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Just... You get nauseous when you travel through hyperspace. <gasps> oh. Oh. 
Her hyperspace vision's got a name drop. We're still in the yep. up. I like it how that was the very, very polite way to say, Padawan, shut up. <laughs> yeah, so no. Yep, that look right there says everything. There, can you hear me? Identify yourself. My name is- Yep! Yep. yep. Good job. <laughs> Master Soul, the rescue team is on their way. <gasps> oh! Oh! What the fuck are you doing? Soul's going rogue! What the fuck is he going? Bro, you gotta be kidding oh, what me! What the fuck? He's gonna go back to Brendock. That would make sense. Is that is that where Chimir and Osha are? Uh, they're about to find out that it was not some Umber Mons. I thought she wanted more than just revenge. The power of two. Okay, yeah, he's set. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Alright. But like, what the fuck's someone who threw me away? Mm-hmm. Slowly twisting the knife. Kurtosis. Handy against lightsabers, but also a sensory deprivation headpiece. Like we used as young legs. Oh. It blocks out all your senses. Mm. So I guess Kurtosis is canonized to be like you. Magneto's helmet. She's gonna put it on. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Oh. oh Oh, uh, oh! Yep. Yes. Oh! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Alright, that was cool as hell. What does that tell you? A powerful Jedi has fallen. You don't think Master Soul was responsible? No. Who else would possess the power to slay such a strong group? Something to tip the scales. Oh. She knows. If she did this, why she would sends he Kamir. Nick, I think your theory is right. She knows who it is. <laughs> was he watching her sleep? What I must say to you if I ever got the opportunity. So you're going to listen. What? Does he? Did what? he know that May was alive this entire what? time? Wait. What? Mm -mm. No. Nope. We're just going back to Osha. Thank God. Oh, she's good. <laughs> I was like, that did feel like an ending to an episode. It. It did. Uh, you're right. She's gonna put it on. Mm-hmm. Dude, how can anybody find that? How did Kanan fight while he was blind? It's just you and the Force. Wow. That was interesting. Okay, obviously he's a Sith, but uh, here's the thing. He just wants to... No, 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 but hear me out. No, but no, no, but hear me out. Copiasm? No, 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 no. There still could be Ren, but now I'm thinking it's something else. Now I'm thinking it's something very, very, very legends. What do you think? Very legends. What do you think again? What's everybody's fanboy character they all love? Are you thinking, you think, you thinking this is Revan? No. He said a long time ago, he was a Jedi. It's true. This is true, but also, like, I don't I mean, think I they would, not. I don't, I don't think they would I rip him out not. of the Republic. I think you're wrong. I think, it, I, I think it's just, I think they're just hinting at the Khmer as a potential Jedi. Well, and, and also, I don't think his master, his Jedi master gave him those scars. No, he's definitely lying to twist her brain, her brain to her side. Oh, yeah. yeah, the duh, it's Sith that, Logic 101. That is... I've been listening to Plagueis too much. I just, <laughs> no, 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 no. But seriously, though, I've been listening to it. And the way Chimir holds, like, is acting is very Venomous. The way Venomous is is looking and, and trying to find pupils. Like, Plagueis goes and, and after he keeps Venomous alive, after he poisons him, he goes on his ship and he goes. He Like, Venomous, uh, uh, Venomous has been looking for pupils. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's... are they are they just being like, hey, this is that they take that they took that logic, put that in there, and now eventually the set that shows up yeah. is going to be Plagueis. I wouldn't be surprised because Leslie Henlund's like a very big into like legends and stuff, but I also feel like that's just very yeah. stiff coded at the same time. No, it is. It absolutely is because he's because he's so so centered on on finding a pupil and that was venomous's thing while still working with Tenebris, he was secretly looking for a pupil. Yeah. Plagueis is going to show I mean, up. It, it, I, I I think Plagueis is going to show up at the end of this, end of this season. I don't think it, because remember, he even says it to Palpatine in the Plagueis novel. He is a uh, uh, hundred years old by the time that Pal he talks to Palpatine, like young Palpatine when he first interacts with him on Naboo in the Legends book. He is a hundred years old, human standard years, hundred years. Again, Plagueis doesn't have a canon age, so I can obviously change. It's, it's no, but that's what I'm saying. Change. This is a hundred years. This is a hundred years before the Phantom Menace. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Who's to say this isn't a young Plagueis or Tenebris? I think, I think it's I mean, more like I think it's I think it's more likely that it'll be Plagueis. It's more likely that it'll be Plagueis because let's think about it from a CGI and like a prosthetic, like a Bith, and have him talk in basic. Oh, that's so much harder to do than. Well, also, it's if and, if it's if it's if it's, if it's if it's as short as we think it's going to be, it's going to be like one shot at the most that they could reasonably pull it off. But still, you're going to assume he's going to be I more of an integral think, role down the line. So I think Plagueis I think, is more likely. I think Plagueis is going to find Chimere. He's going to kill Chimere, and he's either going to take Osha. Or, I think he's going to take Osha because I think Osha is falling. She put that mask on for a reason. Yeah, and yeah. that's going to be his first people, and then it's going to be the story mm -hmm. about how. Osha is Plagueis' first pupil. He tries to discover how she was born. She tells him how it's done. That's how... Okay, this is starting to make a little bit more... Now, I you're, might now you're seeing wrong. the pieces probably, people I'm in place. I'm, 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 no. probably, I'm probably... I don't... I still wrong. think... I still think what's going to happen is... I still think Vanessa is going to kill Kamir. But I also think Osha is going to run away. And I think Osha is going to figure out I, who the master I, is. I... I I think Plagueis kills both Chimera and Vernestra because well, she is too well, much of a threat. So no, like, nobody, and again, we all have to remember the Jedi don't know shit. Well, right. Like it's like, yeah. they cannot know. Like that's the one thing that I will kind of agree with that side of the fandom. Like they cannot know that the Sith well, exists. Here, well, here's the thing. They don't so far. Vernestra is being very know. opposed to the chat. No, they think it's a rogue but, but, Jedi but, sect. And then, but Vernestra is very she's she's starting to put two and two together here. Oh, Vernestra! And no. if she survives, and if she survives, that's a problem. That's a very, oh, very, surviving. very big. And she's not. And, and I think I, I, I we have how many episodes left? Two, right? Correct. Two or three. Um, two. 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 Tomorrow, I think so next, next week is the flashback. Next week is the next week is the penultimate. Oh, clearly the flashback. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's clear. I mean, the way the way Soul set that up, it is, we are clearly going flashback next episode. Yeah, and, and he didn't seem very himself. Yeah, I mean, let, let's talk about. Yeah, that. yeah, like, that he was did not seem. Yeah, he didn't. The ending gave me like, what the fuck are we doing with Soul? Like the writing for this. I will say this: the editing, the cutting back and forth that, has been the weakest part of that, this show. As an editor, 100%. that felt the roughest like there was times where i was like we really should just stay with osha and Kamir, like just no, really I, hold on these shots really. and just let it unsettle the viewer but why are it's like why are we cutting away so fast from like the like, lightsaber am... scene and her putting on the helmet it's like these these are things that you should have just sat with the character and been like holy fuck yeah this should have been Agreed, 12 100%. episodes it should have been 12 episodes well, it's like no, definitely. I agree with or you. At least longer episode. Lengths. I think. Yes. Well, not even like like you don't even have to go like crazy long. You just need to like extend it maybe like two to three more minutes and just really hold on these shots, really hold on these scenes. Just, I just. Mm, I hate saying this, but I think this was the weakest episode of them all. I mean, it it very much was a, a table setter. It, it like, is. It is, and, and, and I'm and I'm not saying place, I'm yeah. not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's yeah, the yeah, weakest. Yeah. It's at least for me, it's the weakest. But of, I from having from having having such a like a, a banger episode last week, right? It, I it almost feels like that that was going to happen anyway because it was inevitable. Was yeah, it was very inevitable. But you, you you needed something to put those pieces in that. In those uh, agreed. Final agreed. That, you know. Agreed. Agreed. And I mean, I, I think like you said. Sure, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say. I I think. I, I know I'm like jumping the gun before even watching seven. You know how people are saying like, "Oh my god, I wish four and five were one episode" because that's how it's intended. I to wish, me, I wish six and seven six. were one episode. I wish six uh, and seven were one episode because because I think ending on like, I need to tell you what happened, and then going straight into the and, flashbacks and, and, and would have been better. It would have like, been better instead of just like well, holding like, it over the viewer, being like, "Oh, like a, like, a, like an Elrond uh, um, flashback." Uh, in Fellowship of the Ring, of how he's telling Isildur to cast it into the fire while he's. I honestly, I'm not. I'm not trying to be the whole. Like we had had a better prediction, but I really like the angle Wait, hold of. On. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what do you mean? Hold on. That was the best episode. Yeah, you you got to. Oh, come to oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, we can't say that. I'm sad. I'm sad. No, no, no. Get your, get your, get your. Yeah, you can listen. Okay. All right. 
I'm sad. Hi, hi, Lannis. Hi, hi Lannis. Hi. Um, no, I don't give a fuck about the plot. That was the <laughs> sexiest thing that has ever happened. <laughs> I do not give a fuck about anything that happened. You, Star- you got you got Aemon Dong and Chimera. Star butt. Wars is for women. <laughs> Star Wars is for fucking women. Yeah. Best best one. <laughs> Out. <laughs> uh, dude, Al- I love Alanis being the chaos grub on this week of Aemon Dong and now feet. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I, That's I, I, my I, life. Like at the end of the day, I mean, again narratively this episode did a great job of giving us a lot of answers to questions yeah, yeah, who, who is, some some well, some answers not yes. all the answers but that but that again that's me being well, like i want all the answers exactly. and it's like i need to stop doing that and just en- well, enjoy what i'm and getting and i did i did enjoy it i just yeah. it gave me more questions than not, it gave not me not the same answers. way that Atlantis did apparently uh, yes, you know, she got <laughs> all the answers, apparently. <laughs> so, um, I mean, they, they, and they, they've been consistent with this throughout the series, that they'll answer a few questions, and they'll introduce a few new ones. And I think this episode was no different. We got answers about Chimere, yeah. and now we got a whole shitload of questions about Soul. Yeah. I, I mean, hope so. Like, what, the only thing that I'm seeing right now on the timeline is a lot of horny Chimere tweets. Oh, absolutely. And half of them are probably <laughs> my fiance. Half of them are probably Alanis's, actually. I think, well, I think, well the, a good one is from Danielle, which Alanis reposted, oh. which is this episode is proof at the end of the day we're all just Victorian men fainting at the sight of a lady's calf. <laughs> <laughs> but to, to, to hammer on the point about what I was about to make about editing, it was like, to me, it feels like the editing felt rushed. <laughs> It felt like the editor just went through the scenes. Because to me, like when I was editing, when I was in film school, like the thing I loved to do was to do a scene three different times, three different ways. Mm -hmm. Like what is the most I can take advantage of what I have in front of me? What footage do I have in front of me? How can I best use this footage while making it feel like the scene is conveying what it needs to convey in the smaller scale, but also conveying what it needs to say in the bigger scale? To me, it felt like the editor just like just quickly just skimmed through the footage. Was like done, and he, they didn't really yeah. take the time to be like, "What if I put this shot here and like really emphasize this story beat because it's important later down the line?" Like it felt like they just were like run I, like quickly running through it as fast as they possibly could. Again, again, like I am all ex- I'm excited for the people that love this episode. It just it didn't it didn't hit it didn't me. hit as well. Yeah. And I, and, and I think that's fair. And I don't I want mean, to be the fucking angry white guy because I'm not but, that angry, but I just don't want to be labeled that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I think like oh, you're not saying the episode was bad. You're no, not I'm not it saying it, I'm not. You, I'm not saying it's it's bad or trash. You're saying it's, it's the weakest of the bunch, which is yeah, inevitable to happen in a yeah. eight episode TV show or any TV show for that matter. Like and, and there's mean, going to be one episode where you're just like, eh. Out of out of the three that were left, if one was gonna have to be the weakest, I'd rather it be this one. Factual. I, I would agree. This, I would agree. And, Not the penultimate or the finale. The, yeah. Those two. And, and like, just, here's the thing. No, go ahead, Nick. Go ahead. I'm gonna say, just think. No, no, no. If we're getting a flashback next week, what are we? Kalnaka. 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 We get Kalnaka back. We get Kalnaka back. But I, I just, I gotta watch it again. Maybe I'm missing something that everybody else is absolutely loving about it, but it just... I, I mean, I, 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 everyone I, is loving his chest. That's what everyone is Everyone's loving, loving his feet. <laughs> and and I don't like that. Mm. I just think we... We, I, we, we can't... Uh, well, like it's like we're looking at this in a very... Um, I mean, the thing is, is like, we're all three cis looking, white guys. We're looking at this in a very I, exactly. male lens way. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. We're exactly. like going Thank like... Yeah. We're going like... Uh, media art doesn't do this, so this is like this is no, the angle I, we're going at, and, and it's here's like the thing. Here's the thing: we almost got full dong. We almost got full dong. When the book wasn't right? like full dong, and like House of the Dragon full dong. Well, we but don't was need a tease. full dong. It's Star Wars. It's still for kids. Like you can't <laughs> show 
full dong. I mean, Leslie pro- Leslie walked that line. I mean, Andor walked that well, line. Leslie walked and, that and, line. And, and, Leslie and, walked and, that and, line and, for and, sure. This is why. This is why. And 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 here's the thing. It's hinting. They are hinting. They are hinting. Osha. Uh, Osha's gonna be the next acolyte mm-hmm. for I sure. So. She's t- been, she put I've the helmet. Yeah, you you, you have been saying you have been show. you have been you have been and and does May does she take out May? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think well if if it's not her, it's Soul. I really do I, believe. I, I think mm-hmm. it would be more powerful for the story that they've set forth if May sacrifices herself for Osha and Osha either accidentally or purposely kills may that feels like the direction the story is going in see, see but, and here's the here's the other thing I, again the other two consistent gripes for me editing and these fucking episodes are way too short they really are disney I, give these fuckers a goddamn whole mo- but here's give the- them a budget that allows them to do longer but episodes L- for the love of christ look at what house of the dragon is doing doing and out but here's the thing i'm gonna make a defense in for the house of the dragons but i'm also gonna make a critique but here we go i'm gonna make a two-point argument first point i'm gonna make i'm gonna talk about this i'm gonna ask a question of my second point argument first point is i think the reason why hbo works so well compared to disney plus and i think a lot of streaming services in that matter is they're focusing on quality over quantity you don't get a Star Wars show every year, or in that case, a, a Game of Thrones or Last of Us every year. They rotate but, back and forth. I mean, they spend well, them, they spend their starting... like their longer pre production. But here's the thing it's two different you're shows with to... two different show runners. Well, but here's the thing so Disney Plus has two to three shows per year, right? Plus an animated show. So let's say four. Let's just, let's just run up to four. And between that, you have four different productions going on at once. Lucasfilm has to split the budget between all four shows evenly. So one then of them inevitably has to get stop, the cut. Stop doing that then. See, here's my thing. Chase and I were talking about this a while ago. And I think we've mentioned this on the streams. The solution is you go down to one live action show or two live action shows and one animated show. Which Agreed. I think like, you're, you're starting to see. Because like this year... There's the acolyte, and and then skeleton crew. Skeleton crew, and that's it. I would not even mind if it was just the acolyte, and then skeleton crew was next year. Like I think the well, issue is we don't get to sit on these shows for a while. We're like we're immediately we well, went straight and, from Ahsoka straight into the acolyte. We didn't get really chances to sit on it and think about it. And I think too, like you've seen the benefit of when they give the time and space to develop a story and or season one. Tony Gilroy was given the time and space to develop the story and and the environment and and the direction of that show as he saw fit. And now it's the same with season two. I mean, they they filmed season two for what? Almost a year to get Mm -hmm. everything the way that they wanted to. And, and I think, I think it was Natasha who said it. And, and if, if they did, they're completely right, which is that, you know, Tony Gilroy was afforded that he's a white man. He'd say it, but it's true. Leslie Headland is not. Yeah. No, I agree. We, don't, we, don't, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't hate to say that. That's just the truth. But but the thing yeah. is, is like, I, I've been dying on this hill with with especially with. I hate to single out Disney overall, but I've been thinking about this a lot. The issue is, is they're not giving pre production enough time to sit. What they're doing is they're immediately rushing into filming, and the writers and the and the directors and the showrunners don't get time to think. How can we best convey this story? And I think they've do you learned. Wanna, that. Do you, do you want to know the brutal do you truth? Know, do you want to know a show that doesn't do that? Rings of Power. power. <laughs> it doesn't well, do and, that. I think and that also, they... and also, they had gotten season two script finished by the time season one was releasing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That allowed them the time to start filming the second season but here's the thing but here's the after thing after the the sixth episode of the first season rings also had a time to sit with the scripts and go what worked about these scripts what didn't work about these scripts what can we kind of they also adjust? they also they also brought fans in and content creators and showed them things got their opinion on things lucasfilm doesn't 
do that? Because they're so scared that people would spoil it. There's like kind of close to the chest. And I think in a really scared way, in a bad way. Which is hilarious when you consider what they did during the filming of the prequels. Yeah, they, they put had, up they a, had a, fucking, a live webcam. A live stream. They have a live <laughs> live stream. But I, I think I think Lucasfilm is learning that because, you know, they, they. I don't know if you guys saw the interview with Charmaine. I think it was a few weeks back, where you know she said that she's had conversations with George Lucas. She's had conversations with Dave Filoni, and they're giving her the time and the space to actually build out the script the way that she wants it. And that oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah absolutely different. absolutely yeah for Ray's very movie. different for Ray's yeah. movie yeah 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 it yes. yes, yes, yes. sounds very different from what we've heard Agreed. about a lot of the production so I think they have it, learned that lesson and here's the other thing and it this is not a rings versus the acolyte versus Star Wars versus Amazon like these companies are going to these companies are going to do their production different ways mm-hmm. yep they're not all the same but like I would just suggest to um let the story dictate the episode lengths don't dictate an episode correct and that's always been my argument for shorter episodes yeah because i mean last week's episode i think we can all agree was the high point of the series so far and it was what 38 minutes Mm -hmm. like it wasn't that long but it told the story that it needed to tell inside of that episode if a story needs more space and i think this is the thing is that it feels like they have been told they have to keep it inside of this kind of length because this show so far, the episode lengths hasn't varied that much. Yeah. And I think, I, I think that's a very fair critique of the show. I, 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 and here's the other thing, but after last week being off the high, the, the, uh, that, that major of a high, one of the mm-hmm. best star Wars episodes of TV that we've seen, yeah. like to go now to a st- part of the story where you have to where you have to kind of veer it, it, which is fair and you can do that because it's 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 a tv show you can do these types of things you have to progress the story somehow but mm-hmm. i don't know that's just th- those are my th- that's my that's my that's my great but like i i thought it was a pretty good episode i didn't it, it's i would say it's the weakest of the the six that we've gotten so far i, and I would I agree yeah i would agree i think i think to your point earlier, it's an episode that deserves a rewatch because I think a yes, lot of us agreed. came in with expectations way up here after yes. last week's episode, and, that, and, and that's think... and that's and, and that's completely fine to have. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, but, I... but we got to temper those like expectations. Well, and, and that's hard temper... to do in fandom. That's well, hard. It's hard. Well, here's the thing: I wouldn't even <laughs> say temper expectations. We've gone on about this in podcasts. I have specifically talked about this thing to fucking death. Again. As fans, we tend to go, oh, my God, wouldn't this be cool? Oh, my God. You could build this up in your brain, and then yeah. you you let that kind of blindside you, when in okay. reality, you need to judge the media that's in front of you for what it's telling you. And no, that's I, the mistake people have made with every single Star Wars trilogy or movie or show. Judge the 100%. media for what's in front of you, not what you think is going to oh, happen. God. And okay. Poster Behind Luke is the prime example of that issue I have with the fandom. Yes, I would agree. Oh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi show? Kenobi poster, because that's what everyone fucking did with Obi-Wan. It was so annoying, because it was like, everyone was like, everyone was mad because it was not what they wanted, and I'm just like, why aren't you but judging ended, for what they're giving but, you? But, 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 but here's the thing. It ended up being what everybody wanted. They just In didn't, the like, the minorities... The, the 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 women in it they didn't they didn't like those things they liked the swoosh swoosh darth vader obi-wan kenobi episode three blah 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 yeah no that's not what that that's not what this show is about that that's that no. right there it's not about darth vader it's about fucking obi-wan kenobi and leia and and reva and 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 Dealing with tala and everything Vader is part of it, but he is not the main focus. And it's like, how do and you the people let... that thought that? Sorry, that <laughs> show is not for you. I mean, not to make this an Obi Wan discussion, but Obi Wan is a show about accepting your trauma and moving past it, and that's literally yeah. the theme of the show. No, yeah. I agree. But anyway, my gripes are, I I don't want them to come off as negative because that's not how I feel. I, I mean, I feel that way, but it's not. I wouldn't you know describe. I mean? I'm not trying to like speak for everyone on this this panel. I wouldn't describe my thoughts as negative. It's just 
I, it's just critical. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Just, the sh- it's that, the, the, this episode yeah. is okay. It, it definitely was a step down from last week, but that's yeah. because what are you supposed to do? How are you going to top that? Well, and I think that was inevitable. I think that was the thing. Like we, we all, I mean, I, I won't speak for, speak for myself. We hit here and I thought, great, we're going up without considering yeah. the fact that we needed to put the pieces in place for what to, the end game was to going go to be. Up, to go up. We, we, we had gotten to the point where the train tracks were going up. The rest yeah. of it hadn't been built. So now we're at a it's standstill. The, it's the roller we... coaster. Yes, it was literally yes, the roller coaster. Was, oh, four yeah. was the high. Five was the holy shit, this is exciting. And then six is the is the swoosh. And now we're building back up. And then we're going back, building back yeah. up. Yeah, yeah for I think that's a great way to put it. Yeah, and 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 we'll have more different perspectives on this episode. Um, that aren't just three white guys. <laughs> yeah, love Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, Nick, uh, where can the good people follow you on the social medias? The good people can follow me on TikTok and Twitter at ndwiseguy. I am also here. All through the accolade on Tuesdays and Fridays for live reactions and roundtable discussions. Um, Harris, where can the good people follow you on the social media? The good people can follow me at Harris Productions on TikTok and Instagram, Harris underscore edits on Twitter. And of course, you could find me here at the Pod Ones podcast for our reactions and our accolade discussions. But that's going to be it for this episode. You can find me at Jedi Master Eggs uh, on all social medias. And you can follow us the, at the pod ones on all social medias. Check out our House of the Dragon reaction, Acolyte reactions, and our um, Acolyte discussions uh, on the channel. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications so you never miss any of our content. Uh, but until next time, may the force be with you. Always. Always. See ya! Door!